Well, welcome to our third installation of District Lines. I'm Congressman Joe Crowley. I'm the Congressman for the 14th Congressional District, which takes in parts of Queens and the Bronx, where we are today. We're here at the historic uh, Fort Schuyler. It's home to SUNY Maritime, uh, one of six maritime colleges that are state-run uh, that, that help produce uh, the men and women that uh, re really are critical in terms of the shipping industry for the United States and quite frankly for the world. Once upon graduating here, they are off to great opportunities in terms of jobs and careers. We are now in the library and it is absolutely remarkable and beautiful. I'm joined with by three men who are part of the EOP program. So maybe you can just uh, give us a little something about the EOP program. Uh, the EOP program is the Educational Opportunity Program, um, mainly for underrepresented, underrepresented students and uh, mostly first generation students and the first in the family to go to college. Between my scholarship from the Marine side of New York mm -hmm. and the Educational Opportunity Program, um, it takes the financial burden off of me and my family, yeah. which pretty much means that without that, I wouldn't be able to be here today. That's great. And so that's, I'm like really thankful to the state of New York. That's great. So uh, we are here now with uh, Major Lada. Yes, sir. Major, where are you from? I'm from Tampa, Florida. Tampa, Florida. A lot of Floridians up here. Yes, you know, uh, what's been your experience here at, at uh, SUNY Maritime? I've loved it here, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So uh, they have a, I'm the executive officer for the NROTC program. Right. And the thing I love about SUNY Maritime is it's a smaller campus and uh, they have, you know, they have the regimented cadets and they also have civilian students. So it's a good mix of students here as well. And with a relatively small students population, it's smaller faculty. So faculty's a lot tighter here. It's That's really great. easy to get things done. We work very well across departments. It's great though, because I think you know what we need is a is a balance of folks and of experiences and life experience as well. And I think you know New York is is unique in many respects. So I think we have to have that presence. So in the Marine Corps and all facets of our, of our armed services. So I just want to thank you for all that you do uh, to protect us and uh, keep us safe and to instill. Uh, that Marine Corps spirit in these young people coming up. It's fantastic. Thank you, so. sir. It's my pleasure. Thank you. It's an honor. So, uh, Admiral, thanks again for opening up the campus to us today Thank for our, our third segment of uh, District Lines. Our and, pleasure. Our pleasure. Um, it's great to be at SUNY Maritime because this is one of the great assets of, of New York and of our community. Um, and behind us is the Empire State. Uh, it's the training vessel for the students here at SUNY Maritime. And I know that this uh, vessel uh, was put into active duty uh, recently when it came to the issue of rescue and recovery down in Puerto Rico. Can you tell us about that? Sure. So the uh, Empire State is actually, it's, a, it's owned by the federal government. I, I, believe, I think it's one of these great federal state partnerships. I think one of the best examples of a great federal state partnership is owned by the federal government, but it's operated by SUNY Maritime College to train our students, our future mariners. Um, but in times of national need, the federal government can activate the ship in times of national need. So she's been activated for um, things like evacuating troops out of uh, Somalia. She was activated for Katrina. She was activated for Sandy. And yes, most recently, she was activated for 30 days. Uh, originally to go to Texas, uh, she was then diverted though to Key West, and then she was eventually ended up in uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico for three weeks. That's great. It's wonderful to know that a bit of the Bronx is actually helping the people of Puerto Rico, that strong tie between Puerto Rico and New York, and particularly the Bronx. And this ship is getting near the end of her life as a seaworthy vessel. And I know there's an effort on the foot to design a new ship and to get a new ship commissioned, is that correct? Yes, yeah, she's um, 55 years old, hull's in great shape. It's just really the mechanics are getting old. She's a steamship and in, in the commercial fleet, you don't see a lot of ships powered by steam anymore. Right. Uh, it's, um, so it's, it's really about you know, exposing our students to what's the state of the art in the maritime industry. So uh, we have been working with your, yourself and other champions mm -hmm. in Congress to uh, uh, press the need for the federal government to replace the Empire State with a, a state-of-the-art training ship. Great, Admiral. Well, thank you. Thanks for opening up the campus to us and, and explaining to us the mission uh, of the college and, and what you do here for these young men. We really appreciate it yes, very, very much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you.